Hi, Virgo. Let's see what's up with your energy. You feel something is lacking. Perhaps love, money, or goals. Hmm. So I feel like you could have a lot of good things going for you right now, Virgo. And you're like, okay, so I have this good job or I love what I do with my time. I have a great future ahead of me. I love my home. But like, where's my person? Okay, but it could be anything. Maybe you have your person and then you're not satisfied with something else. Oh, you have temptation here. All right, where's Virgo in the energy? Or this is someone you're dealing with. Very nice. A wish is granted. Perfect. What is this wish about for Virgo? Major challenge. Oh, yeah, here it is. Something important, a new job or a raise. So you are overcoming a challenge involving your finances or you need to. The thing is, yeah, temptation again. Be mindful about temptation regarding finances. So it could be indulging in something. Maybe, um, maybe this is like, what is it called? Shopping therapy? How come I can't? Retail therapy, something like this. <laughs> or like you are making some type of a purchase and, you know, maybe you need to pay close attention here. But I do see you're overcoming a massive problem involving what you do, either for work, for school, or what you what you make okay there's something better here so who's in the energy with virgo well very nice then who's in the energy i feel like something about the gym is coming in here as well there's an older man so this is either you or a person in the energy today wow you have good luck great and good fortune with the four leaf clovers coming in yeah new home new attitude You've got a new home in the energy. Maybe it's this person's. This is a masculine energy, but it could be it could be a woman too. It doesn't have to be a man, but it says dealing to a relationship with an older man. And then it says you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Let's find Virgo in the energy. Oh, there you are, the eight of pentacles. Yeah, because I feel like you are being rewarded for your diligence and your perseverance here because you've been very dedicated to the cause, okay? Detail orientation has getting, is getting you ahead. Ten of swords, where is Virgo in the energy? Queen of pentacles, the fool, the four, yeah, see? It's like you have um, had, have had, some sort of lack. So fifth house, sun, and Virgo. Maybe you were just not been very happy with your finances or some sort of, uh, you've been saving for something, it's time to pay it. Or like uh, you've not been happy or satisfied with your income and you've been, yeah, either you need to pay something off, you've been saving, or there's a financial concern that you're dealing with here. So I feel like you're cutting back or you, you're going to decide to cut back on some sort of fun energy as well. But you're going to come back to it or you already did this. It's like I cut back on paying for these subscriptions or these fun experiences so that I could then save my money for this cause. Like this is what this feels like. So anyway, things are looking really good for you. You're on the up and up. This is a new level. Big time, or it will be. Again, I feel like you had to save or something's going on. Yeah, it's like cutting back on your outlets or like fun energy. So this could be like theater, clubs, um, entertainment, like cutting back on that. That's been happening. Okay. And again, that's the energy of feeling like you you miss something. Like maybe you feel like you don't have enough fun, Virgo. It's time to switch up your routine or it's it's going to be. It served its purpose. Like you cut back for a while for a purpose and then you're going to be going back to something. Okay, so anyway. Show me the wish that's granted in Virgo's energy. It's the Ace of Wands. Yep, here it is, the Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Again, you have the energy of being cautious and careful because you have this new beginning coming in, but you have to transition out of something perfectly. 
like you're ending something, but you have to do it very carefully or cautiously. You have a brand new beginning on something that you're working on. You're going to be like all fired up about this. Tell me why the Ten of Swords is here. Because of the King of Swords. What is this King of Swords? That's you. Okay. Yep. And the world card. Yeah, I feel like you're leaving. Like you're quitting. You're putting your two weeks. You have something better coming in. Or you're moving. Something is happening that you... You're going to be a brand new person. Wow. It's paying off. Wonderful. So I feel like this is very exciting. Very exciting. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Maybe you haven't told somebody something yet as well. May not be anybody's business, but it's right here. Like you have to do something... At the perfect time, like you have to give the notice at the perfect time. You have to tell somebody the news at the perfect time or something like this. Yeah. So, yeah, I see this new beginning coming in. Wow. All right. So your wish is going to be granted. You will get this new beginning. It's coming in. Tell me about this major challenge in Virgo's energy. Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you've been questioning like how to end something and when the perfect time is. Like I said, the thing is, you, you're going to have to move forward. <laughs> you're going to have to. It's either that you're choosing it on your time or it's going to happen regardless. Like somehow the universe is pushing you out of the nest and you either flop or fly. That's what this feels like. So you're going to be experiencing this like you're being pushed out of a nest. So no more comfort zone. And the thing is, you've been planning this anyway. It's like somehow you felt in the spidey senses or the waves that something was shifting or changing here. It's like, I've been waiting for the perfect moment or the A-OK -okay or the green light. Yeah, things are going to happen quickly after you either make up your mind or this date comes. Like, you could be waiting for a specific date. Something like this is going on, okay? Yeah, and I feel like there's a notice that you have to give or some paperwork or whatever it is. But the challenge here is the way that you're seeing something and the amount of time that you have to wait. So I feel like no more waiting. If you are procrastinating something, you're not going to be allowed to anymore. Spirit says no. I'm sorry. That's what it is. Okay, Spirit says no. No more waiting because um, this challenge has to be overcome. And it looks like you have a lot of thoughts about this. Like, what if? What could go wrong? You know, maybe you're thinking about all the bad things that could happen, but it's in your mind. It looks like things are going to go well. You have the chariot and the temperance. Things are going to work perfectly. There could be like a key swap. I'm seeing like a key or like information. Okay, again, the green light, like waiting on that green light. Tell me about this bag for Virgo. Okay, Empress, is there like a mother figure here? Horus, Libra, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Five of Cups, Mars, Scorpio, Mars energy. Something important such as a job or a raise, a new job or a raise. Okay. Interesting. Okay, where's Virgo in this, please? Three of Swords. You're in Libra energy. Why is Virgo in the Three of Swords? Yep. See, because you're, you are maybe afraid to fail or afraid to be told no, or you could be, um, you are limiting yourself here somehow. It's the way that you're thinking about something. Is this a person? It feels like someone's watching you or like they they always have something to say or something. Like I feel like someone always has their input or something to say to you to tell you that you're wrong or maybe this person I know what this feels like. Like they try to make you second think or second guess or you always feel pressured by this person. Who is this? Is this a person spirit? But yeah, it is. It's the Three of Pentacles. Sun. Interesting. Two of Cups. It is a person. 
So they've been waiting for you to make some shift or a change or you have so that you can include this person in the plan. So it looks like this could be a mother or something or someone who behaves as a mother in some way. Um, okay, so it could be male or female. It doesn't matter. But whoever this is seems a little bit pampered. Okay. <laughs> um, it's either you or this person, right? The, whoever this is is a little bit pampered and they put pressure on you or you feel some sort of pressure. And you're fixing something in order for this relationship to work. Okay? I see that they've been waiting for you to change something because they've been upset. So they've been upset about the money or you have because you felt like you have not had enough, but you didn't know what to change or when to stop something. It looks like you will be changing it. Like I said, you're going to be pushed out of a nest here. You are, and it doesn't feel comfortable to this Virgo that I'm speaking to today, but it does look like it's you're going to be caught. If you feel like you're falling, you're not, okay? It's like somehow there's an uncomfortable shift for you. And I, for some reason, this person thinks that they're involved. Maybe they are involved. I don't know. But it's like they watch you. It's like, okay, I'm going to wait until you make that change, and then we can talk. We can make plans. We can go on vacation. We can do something. Like, that's what this feels like. All right. So anyway, what is a challenge again, Spirit? Let's talk about that mountain again. I'm hearing mountain range. Yeah, it's a change. So the thing is, you could also be very... Um, there's someone in your family or at your workplace or somewhere that somebody doesn't value you or your efforts or you start feeling this way. And it's like someone, someone's like nitpicking you or something, Virgo. All right. You do need to fix your long-term budgeting or planning with your finances or it's this person and it's directly affecting you. You need to make a change so you could be happy and proud about that. But I also feel like you are due more money or someone needs to pay you more or someone needs to give you more credit where the credit is due. That's what I see as part of the challenge. There's something here that makes your budgeting tight or your sense of self. Like you feel lack, you feel not enoughness, something is going on. All right. So I see that there's a change that is going to be happening regardless and you're going to have more stability in the future. It's just a matter of when, not if. It's 100% guaranteed that something is shifting here. If this is your reading. <laughs> anyway, there's a general reading okay, on YouTube. You know, lots of people watch. So here is, you are on the right path in this older man. So who is this older man's Virgo? They're watching you. This is like a... Maybe this is another earth sign or an Aquarius, but this person washes you. Yeah, they're waiting on you. It could be a Pisces. This person's waiting for you to change something or shift something. They watch your every move. This person is very like, um, like almost like, let me see what Virgo does or how they handle themselves. It's like this. Interesting. What is the relationship with this older masculine in Virgo's reading? The Queen of Wands. Wow, so interesting. Here's the Ace of Swords energy that's coming into your reading. So this person could have even been trying to like tell you certain things or give you information to see how you apply it, or they want to see how you apply yourself and make some shifts and changes here, Virgo, because that's, that's how they're coming in. They're coming in with the eyes of love. So regardless, it could be that this person's a little uppity or sometimes they are, but they do look like they're trying to shift something here. This older masculine energy, like they have intentions to get the ball rolling, get, get something moving here. They could be like a source of inspiration or, um, maybe this is a mentor or whatever it is. The energy feels this way. So it could be anything, but it's like, they want to see what happens next. This is, this is someone who watches is what it feels like. I feel like this is someone who has, um, good intentions, this person here. Okay. So let's see the arrow in this person's energy. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Interesting. This person has been trying to tell you something or somehow they're like shifting you energetically, Virgo. Like this is like someone who cares about you and they see you almost like, yeah, it does feel like a mentor-ish, but this person's like trying to give you some sort of love or support so that you can keep going down this path that you're moving down. So it could be with your new home here, new attitude. But someone feels like they empathize with you. They see you evolving or moving forward and they want to hype you up. So we don't often get good vibes in the readings, but I'm saying that someone here really does feel like they want you to do well and they're trying to bat for you, or at least be supportive to you. This is someone here. Mm hmm. It's like they, they didn't think that you were actually going to go through with something, too. Someone was watching to see if you were going to fix something. Could be with your home. Someone could be like giving you a home or giving you an offer for work or like sharing one with you. Like this person wants to share with you something. It's interesting because it's like they want to observe you and make sure that you're you're doing it. And you are. You're doing something right. Interesting. Okay. Here we go. There's justice here. There's justice in the situation. New home, new attitude energy. For sure. Okay. Well, this looks really good, Virgo. Um, the only thing that was being held back is you and yourself is what it looks. Like you're holding yourself back in some way. Or you have like a negative outlook on something or yourself and your abilities and like you really need to realize that you're better than you think you are and i feel like this person could have been seeing this in you and they want you to know that what else does Virgo need to know during this time ace of pentacles the temperance yeah okay six of cups wow and hermit there you are Hmm. Why is this Virgo's as a seven of wands? Higher font. Hmm. So there's something that you may not believe or feel very secure in, but it's like saying like spirit is backing this up, this new offer that's coming towards you with the Ace of Pentacles. Why seven of sword or seven of wands here? Judgment. Yeah. Yeah, something is changing big time. There's a huge shift and it's resulting in a new beginning for you. One that can be shared with someone or this could even be like a, a shared, like a mutual spiritual experience is what I want to say. <laughs> and I, I don't know what that means exactly, but that's what this feels. This new offer, a tangible thing, a tangible offer is making space for a mutual spiritual experience with you and a person. This could be like soulmate energy. Someone has been hesitating in a dynamic because of something else that was hesitated on. But this is changing. So now it's just you and a spiritual experience with a person. Wow. Like uh, someone's going to have like an awakening or somehow you get to reassess a situation and have a spiritual awakening, but it feels like you're sharing this with somebody. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much, Virgo.
feel for that's wild. Feel free to check your other placements or previous and future readings for more or different information as time is very interesting the way that it flows in the spiritual energies and in the readings. So yeah, um hopefully you like that and I'll see you next time. Bye.